Welcome to Quantao. In this video, we're going to display how exactly you can do the market replay in Quantao trading platform. To start with, you can click on the dashboard icon and click on the market replay panel, which will open up this panel where you can set your market replay symbols, uh, the day history range and other settings. So let's start with the uh, history range. So I've selected the 1st uh, August to 19th August as the history range. I've selected already uh, one symbol uh, and I've selected the build from option as tick, which means if at all you are doing going to do the analysis of the uh, order flow uh, charts, uh, you need a tick history. So in this case, it is important that you select tick history. Uh, however, you have the option of selecting one minute or one day uh, back to history range as well. So let's add one more symbol. So let's add Nifty symbol. So in this also I select one tick range and I will also select a equity symbol for Reliance. In this I will select one minute as build form. And here also you can see the speed settings. So you can increase the speed at which you want to replay the market data. So if you select, keep it at zero. So every second is one bar. So the update uh, pre frequency will be every one second, one bar will be updated. You can increase this uh, setting by just clicking here. So we have about five setting options predefined. So 20, 40, 60, 80 and 100 percent. So you can decide at what pace you would like to replay the market data. So let's start the simulation uh, now. Let's click on start. Now once the simulation is started, okay, uh, or market replay is started, you will see a bar out here which will start showing you the status. Uh, now, if you click on any panel in Quantower, be it is uh, watch list or charts, let us let me open one ready bind here. And if you click here now, uh, you will see the symbols under market replay connection, which means these are independent symbols created by the application on a temporary basis only for you to do the market replay. What you can do with these symbols is that you can analyze the charts you can actually place the orders uh, as if you're placing the order in a real market and also you get to see the pnl movement as well so you can backtest your strategy uh, manually by using this functionality where you can place the orders and also test the features so let's try to add the symbols here so into the watch list so i can just add click here the symbol is added uh, I will add on futures, all the symbols are added. So now you can see that the market is replaying the uh, historical data. Okay, so now if I drag this particular symbol to the chart, you can see the chart is updating from 1st of August as we have selected August 1st as the start date. Now, if I go back to the uh, scroll here, uh, scroll bar here, it shows the status at which the percentage of data that is loaded. Okay. Now you can increase the speed by clicking here. So you can see that uh, it is updating tick by tick data. So uh, it, it takes a little time. So if for every bar to complete. So I've selected five minute interval here. So I can make this one minute as well. So now you can see every bar will go for every tick update and it as if you're uh, looking at the live market. So if I go to Reliance, it will be based on one minute bar. So you can see that it is updating at a much lesser pace, but uh, only the history will be for one minute interval. So let me go to the uh, Nifty now. And I can, uh, if you see here in the market replay uh, panel here, you can see also the visualization. So which means that you can open the chart, 
you can open the Dome Trader. However, we do not provide uh, market depth through the uh, market replay. Uh, so you, you cannot use the Dome Trader and market depth uh, uh, in this panel, but you can also look at time and sales information. Uh, you can look at uh, account perform uh, dome surface suppose you want to check the dome surface you can do that you can check uh, tpo charts so the charts will be formed for tpo as well the market profile charts so you can backtest to market profile as well and uh, you can also look for symbol info so which what are the uh, details of that particular symbol now let's look at uh, uh, doing some analysis or uh, back testing of the uh, order flow data so i click on the cluster charts i enable this i enable the custom steps say to nifty as 80 and I'll do full chart range. So now you can see that the order flow data is replayed as if it is a real market. So I can increase the speed, decrease the speed. If I want to analyze in detail, so I can reduce the speed at which the data is updated. If I do not want to um, analyze in detail I can just click on increasing the speed now you can see the speed is increased quite drastically so apart from that you can also do a placing of the orders as well so you can click on chart okay or you can open the symbol here okay and suppose you want to place a buy order here so I can just click on 10 quantity and I can place a buy limit order so this will show in the working order panel as the order is placed. Suppose I want to place a market order, I can place the market order as well. So let me place one market order. So once I place the market order, it will show in the positions panel as well. So you can see the real time PNL of this particular chart. So you can also see if you go back to the chart, you can see that uh, you have 10 shares buy and you're making about 18.5 rupees so you can continuously see the performance of your uh, uh, trades as well so this is how a uh, market replay works so you can make use this, uh, use of this feature to analyze past data back test your strategies manually by placing orders, analyzing the uh, historical data in detail. Uh, in Quantower, we provide uh, a large amount of tick level historical data, which means that you can do a large amount of back testing for even for the order flow analysis. So with true data, we provide at least uh, true data feed. We provide at least three months of uh, historical tick data. With other broker connections, uh, it could be about one month of historical tick data. Uh, so you can make use of this feature uh, to analyze and backtest. If you uh, if you want to stop any time the market replay, you can click on stop, and all those uh, symbols will disappear from the market replay section. So make use of this feature for better manual backtesting of your strategies and make Quantower as your preferred trading platform. Thank you.